Hey, Karen Bernstein here. I'm the designer of Pop It Up Styles for Elizabeth Craft Designs. And just a quick tip video to tell you one of my favorite tools for ejecting intricate wafer thin dies, and that is just dryer sheets. Just inexpensive, fragrance free dryer sheets. You can even go to the dollar store and get them. And let me show you why you will not be able to live without these once you've started using them with your wafer thin dies. Okay, I got you in a little closer here so you can see what I'm doing. I've got two of these intricate butterfly dies from the butterfly pivot card. Now these have been used quite a bit, so they are sticking in the dies now. Whereas when you first buy them, of course, they generally don't. And I'm gonna cut a couple of these. Okay, so this is what I mean by them sticking in the die. See, there's all the paper and all the little confetti and everything is in there. Okay, now normally if you wanna eject a die, then you gotta go to something like your Elizabeth Craft Designs tweezers, and there's these little poke holes on the back and you start poking and you know you figure out which one is actually connected to the butterfly itself and which one is just all the confetti parts. Sometimes it's just like winning the lottery, you know? You just poke, 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 poke. We're gonna poke through these holes, confetti's coming out. And um, did I hit one? Oh yeah, okay, so I hit one that had the die in it. And then there, there's my beautiful little intricate die. Get my confetti out. And then I still even have pieces of paper left in the die, okay? And so then I would have to go, let's say I wanted to make a whole series of these cards for an occasion, maybe I was making some invitations. And you can see how time consuming it can be to sit there in between every cut and eject your die that way. And it creates all this confetti all over your table. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you a better way and that is just leave all your paper in the die after you've die cut. Let me get rid of all of this stuff. And now let's go to those dryer sheets. So like I said, inexpensive, you know, get them from the dollar store if you need to. And get yourself four of them. So we're gonna take four dryer sheets and I'm gonna open them all the way up and stack them on top of each other. Now why four? You might have to do some experimenting. I have found for my particular Big Shot that four is the right amount to not cut all the way through the dryer sheets because that's what you're really looking to do. Okay, so you take four, you open them up, then you fold them in half again. So basically there is eight layer of dryer sheet right there. And then you're gonna set that like it was the paper that you were trying to die cut. And there's a couple ways you can use them. Sometimes you just may wanna loosen up a die that's been cutting kind of close to everything popping out, but you know, it just started to stick. And in that case, just put your empty die on there and run it through your machine and that dryer sheet will coat it and make it eject easier the next time. Okay, so we'll do that first. And this is what I mean by getting yourself a thickness where it won't cut all the way through. In fact, that one, it did try and cut a little bit through. But basically what you're wanting to do is not have your dryer sheets cut through. Otherwise you're sitting there and picking dryer sheets out of your die, which you don't wanna do. Okay, but here is the really fun way that you use them, is you put your stack of dryer sheets on your thing. You take your die, still has all the paper in it, both the stuff you want and the stuff you don't want. Put it anywhere on that stack and run it through. And this is the miracle of the dryer sheets because now the die is gonna come out, look at that, it is just completely ready to go for the next cut. Every bit of that die came out and you can just remove the part that you want, like in this case, my intricate butterfly, yay. And then look, all of the rest of the confetti is now trapped on the dryer sheet. Now, does this go in the trash? Absolutely not, you can just keep using it. I can take my next one and even it can overlap until you have paper all over your dryer sheet. And then you know what you do? You flip it over and use this side. And then you know what you do? You just inside out it and get yourself a fresh set in the middle. I am telling you, it just makes die cutting so much easier. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this little tip from me to you. Dryer sheets with your intricate wafer thin dies, it'll change your life. Talk to you later.